I think they stay relevant by engaging our community, by doing things um, like when we did the man who mistook his wife for a hat back in August, we immediately, as part of that production, we started with the idea of here is the piece that we want to do, how now can we connect it into the community? And so we reached out to eight partners um, from the pharmaceutical world, from the world of neurology, from the world of medical sciences, psychology, Alzheimer's, caregiving. We had eight organizations who came to us and we said, look, we can use this opera to have a dialogue about mental health, Alzheimer's, caregiving in our community. Let's bring all of these people together. Let's have some discussions. Let's have some panel, uh, some panel discussions. Let's bring the audience together with these groups. And it was very interesting because when we did the performances, the first performance, the audience came in and we had asked all of the partners to set up tables in the lobby to promote who they were. And so the audience walked in that first night and they're looking at these tables and they're like, are we in a medical convention or are we come to an opera? And, and they didn't quite understand. And then they came up to the panel discussions and they were like, okay, I, you know, we're getting a little more of this. Then they sat for the 70 minutes and experienced Oliver Sacks' story as told through the music of Michael Nyman and the cast. And people came out of the hall, and now I saw people making a beeline to Joy's house, where they give caregiving to folks who have chronic illnesses, and they wanted to know more information. Or they went to Linda Altmeyer at the Alzheimer's Institute, and said, or the Alzheimer's Association, and said, I have a family or a friend or a loved one who is suffering, has suffering. How can I get involved? Are there programs that are for my, fo for my family or for my friends? That's how opera is relevant. Um, we just finished a production of Mansfield Park. Now, Mansfield Park, I think Jane Austen has a lot to teach us about our own humanity. And so again, we reached out with two organizations, very non-traditional, the Jane Austen Society of North America, we actually asked them to come on and sort of function like dramaturgs for us and say, how do we present this piece in the best light? How do we take those themes that are Jane Austen's writing and make them relevant to the operatic stage and to our community? And so they reached out and helped us with that. And then as a real sort of fun non-traditional partnership, but still important, we reached out to the Kentuckiana Pug Rescue because there was a pug in the show. And, and we brought some awareness to these animals who need homes. And it's a small thing, and you know, we might laugh it off and say you know, it's trivial, but it helps another organization, and by extension, helps the community become stronger. That's how I think you keep these art forms relevant.